Hello everybody, it's time for another rocket launch. We're at Windsor Fairground parking lot today and we've got about 11 rockets. Um, six or so are usual, regular old pop out through the nose cone deployment, but we have a whole bunch of them that are rear deployment where the engine pops out and drags out the chute. Untested, I'm sure it's gonna be a disaster, but we'll check it out. We've also made some changes to the launch pad. We'll just talk about those before we get started. All right, it looks pretty similar than last time. I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, what have you changed? Well, it's way taller. It's about uh, seven feet tall now. And we've done that because our rockets are getting heavier and they take a little bit longer to get up to speed. Uh, we've also upgraded our launch pad so that we can change its pitch with some slow motion controls. And we've definitely beefed up the connections here for the larger rockets so that the launch pad doesn't get on the wobble. All right, let's get ready to look at our first rocket of the day. This rocket is sounding one. It has a C-124 engine. It should fly about 1,200 feet uh, at 275 miles per hour. How many miles per hour? 275. Wow, how much does it weigh? It weighs 1.7 ounces. All right, we're gonna go see how that goes in just a few seconds. All right, here we go, sounding number one. Say it loud. Three, two, one. Wow, man. Very stri- oh, wow, that was like the best one we've done. And it has deployed. It's a nice blue sky. The sun is bright. I think that's going to go into the pit, but maybe not. Is it the pit? It's right there. It's uh, right there. We can recover it. Hey, it's the first time we ever recovered a sounding rocket. Hooray. I think we are in good shape with the launch pad configuration. Yeah. Go. This rocket is sounding two. It is projected to go about 1,025 feet with a C-124 engine. It also has a projected top speed of 245 miles per hour. Wow, how many ounces? And it is only two ounces. All right, let's see how this one goes. We got the first one back, crazy. Mm, indeed. Three, two, one. Wow, really good, Jesus. Uh-oh. I have lost it. You got it? Wow, it did go ballistic. Yeah, you don't want to be under them when they go ballistic like that. That one went ballistic. Also known as a lawn dart. Go. This rocket is sounding three. It has a C-124 and is projected to go about 825 feet. It only weighs 2.6 ounces and should reach a top speed of 203 miles per hour. Okay, here we go. All right, it's sounding three. Let's have a look. So far, all the rockets have landed in the area. Go. Three, two, one. Perfectly straight. It has deployed. Is it ballistic? It is ballistic. Oh no, it deployed. Wow. That was amazing. It 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 didn't deploy until the very end. And there it is. Holy jolly! This is the best we've ever done! Did you say holy jolly? This, is, this rocket has been creatively titled car bucket. Um, it has a D-16-6 and should fly about 800 feet in the air. 
it weighs 3.3 ounces, which is about an ounce heavier than the previous three, and should reach 210 miles per hour. Wow, let's see. Hmm. All right, tar bucket, um, fourth rocket, D16. Let's see how she goes. Three, two, one. little quickly oh no oh whew, it popped all right now uh, let's hope it gets back from the road there was a bird near it but it's gone now is that gonna make I think it's gonna make it into our area oh, totally recoverable that's four up, four recoverable. Well, no, one of them went ballistic. Well, it's still one. recoverable. Well, all right. This rocket is titled Abby Hoffman. It has a B-16-6, and it should be traveling 800 feet in the air. It's 3.8 ounces and should get up to 190 miles per hour. Right, and it marks the beginning of the Abby Hoffman reference naming convention for the rest of the remaining rockets. Yes, it does. All right. All right, here we go. Abby Hoffman, D16. Three, two, one. Wow. Whoa, so big and so straight. Oh, a perfect deployment. Through the nose, deployment. It's crossed the highway, so that's good. Now it's gonna land here in the parking lot. Unbelievable. This rocket is titled To Serve With Love in the same naming convention. Uh, it has a D16-4. It should travel 790 feet into the air it weighs four ounces, which is quite heavy, and should reach 186 miles per hour. Now this rocket is gonna deploy a little bit differently than we have been doing. Most of the time we have the rockets deploy either out the nose cone or about halfway um, um, to the center of the rocket. This rocket and all remaining rockets are going to attempt to deploy through the engine compartment where the engine will pop out and pull out the recovery uh, material hasn't been tested i'm sure it's going to be a disaster let's see how to sir with love handles it okay. here we go to sir with love three two one beautiful uh-oh that is ballistic, but no one's in danger. Oof. Yikes. This rocket is titled Till Tuesday. It is our first D of the launch, a D-12-7, and it should f fly about 1,000 feet. It weighs 3.6 ounces, which is pretty light for a D, and should reach 211 miles per hour. Now this is another rear deployment rocket. Um, the last one did not work at all, did it, Casper? It did not, and we suspect that it might not work for the rest of them. We don't think any of these are going to work, but we're going to keep trying, so let's give it a shot. All right, this one's Till Tuesday. It's a D-12-7 rear ejection, and we're ready to go. Three, two, one. Wow, man. Well, we had a rear ejection, but it is ballistic. Oh. 
Wow. This rocket is titled Manic Monday, another one in the music series. Abby Hoffman. Yeah. Thanks. And um, <laughs> it has a D-1207. It yeah. should go 800 feet in the air. It is five ounces and should go about 191 miles per hour. And it's again rear deployment, so we suspect this will end up as powder. Probably. Let's see. All right, here we go with Manic Monday. Manic Monday. Three, two, one. Straight up. <laughs> oh, and again, ballistic. Oof. So terrible. This rocket is titled Voices Carry. It has an E26, our first E of the day, uh, and should travel 1,160 feet, which is very high. It weighs 6.5 ounces, which is heavier than all the rest so far, and should reach 235 miles per. That's how long is it, Casper? It's 44 inches, which is just four inches shy of four feet. Well, that's amazing. Let's see what happens. All right, it's Voices Carry, our first E26 of the day, rear ejection, Likely disaster. Count it down, Casper. Three, two, one. Whoa! That was a full explosion on the way up. I'm going to keep an eye on the tassel. Wow. This rocket is titled Thrasher. It has an E267, just like the previous one, and it will travel 895 feet weighing eight ounces it's the same height uh and it has no listed top speed right this is from the last round this one wasn't quite ready to go so that's why it's named the way it is and it has a nose cone ejection scheme which we think might possibly work let's have a look all right it's thrasher with an e26 with a nose cone ejection let's see what happens three two one Really squirrely and exploded into pieces. Oh my goodness, that was an extra big disaster. This rocket, titled Hoffs, has an E26 4. It's projected to go about 700 feet in the air weighing 10 ounces, which is the heaviest rocket of the day. It is also 44 inches long like the past two and should go 154 miles per hour. It's also a rear deployment. And so we really do anticipate nothing but trouble with this rocket. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna forget that method for the future, mm -hmm. but let's give it a shot one last time. All right, Susanna Hoffs, ready to go. We anticipate disaster. Three, two, one. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> something really went wrong there. <laughs> what happened? Nice. Probably for the best. All right, here's a rocket. Which one is it, Casper? Pick it up. Oh, this one is Abby Hoffman. Abby Hoffman. Will it survive another day? 
don't no, think so. it won't. Well, good try. Hmm. All right, here we go. Next one, tar bucket. Yes, here we have tar bucket. How um, does that one look? Well, uh, one of the fins popped off, but the mount is still in good condition. Right. And the fin is right here. So, so we maybe. can put it back together. And that's a nose topper, and it didn't bump into that power line. So this could theoretically launch again. All right, let's go to the next one. All right. As you can see, this one um, really smashed. It certainly did. Yeah. All right. To serve with love, smashed into a million bits. Oh, yeah. wow. All right. This will certainly not be launching again. Plus it melted. Yeah. Nice. All right, here's the next one. Which one is it, Casper? Well, we'll find out. This is Till, Till Tuesday. Tuesday. Also, not will not be launching again. Broke it uh, failed bits. to deploy and then broke, and yeah. its guts are falling out. Nice. Well, there's another one. Let's go look for the last. I think we're going to get most of these back, at least in part. This yep. is the remains of Thrasher. That one wasn't even a rear deploy, but it's still... I think this one blew up midair. It did, which it is did. Which why it's missing a nose cone. Interesting how it fell at about the same spot, but I yeah. definitely have to beef up the structure. That's all right, I'll just need to beef up the structure. Mm. Okay, so this is a horrible mess. This one clearly went ballistic. Hit nose first. It's just dust. It's just dust. Except for this piece right here. Um, which one is it, Casper? Actually, we can't know which one because the writing was on the pink part and the pink part is dust. Too bad. <laughs> so here are some rockets that landed in a nice close area. Let's go pick them up. We're running out of juice on the camera, so I think this is going to have to be it. We've got four more to pick up. They all landed in about the same spot. Hello, my name's Doug Bergfeld. I've been with Casper Bergfeld and Sophie, oh, and we have been picking up and launching rockets. So tune in next time, probably in September for the next rocket launch, when hopefully more of them will survive. Thank you very much.